Alright, bad news. I think it's time for us to split up. But why? Keisha? That's why. God damn it, Kimmy Schmidt! Titus and Jamadon. You ever see a girl's tits on Instagram? And then you see them in real life and they're just out of proportion? What's up my fitness people and my gamers? I wanna dedicate this video to the gamers out there. This is E3 week. It's been an epic week. And uh, I mean to start out pretty much. Been eating like crazy, been gaming like crazy. If you love gaming, you love fitness, check out, well, more so if you, love, if you love fitness, you're already here, but if you love gaming, check out my gaming channel as well. If you want to do both, subscribe to both. But anyways, I kind of want to start a beginner's chest exercise for all my gamers out there looking to get more into fitness. So this is dedicated to you guys. And what better way to start than the master of the word chest? When you think chest, you think of barbell bench press. Okay, and that's what we're gonna start right here. So, that being said, somebody just asked for my help because they couldn't get a rep up on their, uh, on their bench. And you know, I ran over there, helped them get the weight up. So for one thing that you can add in to the thought process of benching, if you don't have a spotter, don't use clamps. Don't use clamps if you don't have a spotter. That way you can, you know, if you can't lift it, you can slide the weight off. Now, you know, and that's honestly a lot of times I don't use clamps because just in case I don't have a spotter and nobody can help me get it up, I can just slide that weight off, you know? So that's something to keep in mind. We're gonna start with a set, a pyramid set. I think the best way for beginners to really get those um, noob gains is doing pyramid sets rather than four sets of 12, three sets of six, whatever, pyramid sets. So you start with the high weight, so you're working that volume and then you work yourself down to a lower weight. You know, if you watched my last couple of videos, I've talked about the pyramid sets. Um, so it's a great way to really start out. So we're gonna do a pyramid set of 15, 10, six, and four. This is just a warm up set, doesn't count, but always warm up. So, starting out with bench. I always think eye placement right above, right below the bar. When you unload the bar, what I like to do, you see this, the solid between the grid? In my opinion, the best fit, especially with my clients, has been thumbs leaf from the solid. Boom. No matter where I'm at. This is what I prefer because it keeps the shoulders safe. It helps you have your elbows more in rather than out. You want your elbows in when you do it. It'll, it'll, it'll protect that chest, it'll protect your shoulders. Out more, there's more chances of shoulder tears, chest tears, and instead, the way I do it, there's more, um, more contraction in the triceps, more weight put on the triceps and kind of taking off the load off the chest and the shoulders. This is more of a strength builder to me rather than a muscle builder. So, you know, I get this out the way first the majority of the time. Sometimes I'll challenge myself and do it at the end, but it's better to do it first off to get your strength training and then we'll move on to that volume work. Do not do this. All right, don't do that because you might have a chance to get it hit on the sides. Unload it. Get your body set, get your eyes. Boom, I kind of like to do this just to make sure I'm centered. Boom, boom, boom. Get those feet wide, get the base, push those heels into the ground, push that butt down, push the back into the bench as well. Boom. Problem, bro. Yeah, so I haven't seen you at an expo, but I've been to like 
Uh huh. Oh, what? For a fact, I definitely signed something with a stormtrooper on it. Look at that. Did somebody draw that on there? Yes, stencil. Stencil? Nice. Can I can I can I be his forehead? Oh yeah, I'm gonna be the forehead. Man, much love. I haven't stopped throwing up in my mouth. So now it's 15. 15, 10, 6. All right, everybody. Next up, we got incline dumbbells. For this, I don't really do pyramids. Uh, it's, good, it's still good to do a pyramid for dumbbell, but usually the gym's very um, crowded uh -oh. sometimes. So you don't really want to have to put the dumbbells back, come back, uh, you know, find new dumbbells, uh, go up in weight. So I kind of try to usually scheme this around the four sets of 12. So I'm gonna do four sets of 12. I'm gonna grab the 80s. I'm gonna haul ass on this control movement, controlled haul ass is what I like to say. When I mean by haul ass, I mean maximum effort, Deadpool style, plus ultra, all might style. I was about to say Deku, but all might style. Or uh, what's another one? What's another good one? so full. It's exactly why I hate eating before I train. This is Kanye and Kid Cudi, I think. When a black person make that stanky face, you know it's real. Jeff was talking, and you know, I'm just, just, I'm just disgusted by how great that beat was. I'm gonna rock this song for the rest of the workout. Lego. Hey, y'all remember Slow Mo from uh, St. Lunatics with Nelly? I don't know, I was just watching Fabulous, and I just started thinking about like, uh, St. Lunatics, and I was like, why was this nigga a playable character in, in NBA Street or NFL Street? So mad beyond good and evil too, it's not playable. How many people are upset Splinter Cell? It's not a thing right now. But we got a new Assassin's Creed though. But I would like a Splinter Cell. I'm waiting for like a World War II like Assassin's Creed. Like, really? Yeah, it's gonna get to that. It, 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 it's I want like a modern day Assassin's Creed. It's always a good thing to end a workout with a body movement. So body movement is nothing added on, no weights, no bench, no barbells, um, just you and a specific movement. And this specific movement will be doing dips. Dips and wrap. If you ever see A-M-R-A-P, that means as many reps as possible. All right, so just, just for you to understand. So, so that's about where I want to be, 15 reps, that means I, I've really uh, worked my chest out today, We've really done enough, and understand. A lot of people, especially for, for all the gamers or new, new beginner training people out there, you don't need to do a lot to start out. Start, start small first and work your way up. Because if you already start from the top to get go with a lot of volume work, right, you're you're not allowing your body to, to grow in a good steady pace and, and not be able to get used to the training. So start small first, see what your body can work with. If you see progress with five movements a day for, for a body part, then you know go along when you stop seeing progress, up it up, up it up, more reps, uh, some trick sets, you know, trick sets meaning rack, rack presses, band presses, more accessory things. But right now is a great, simple beginner starter workout. So again, on the last exercise, 
It's great to really do body movement for the last exercise, especially when it comes to as many reps as possible. All right, the reason being is because you don't have to rely on a spotter or worry about weights crushing you or hurting yourself trying to get the weights off because you can't push anymore. On the dips, if you can't do it, you just drop down. Push-ups, you just drop down. Jump squats, pull-ups, those things are very great to leave at the end of the workout. For a good warm-up, it's something also to use at the end of a workout um, to really push yourself. So I hope you guys enjoyed this workout. Pleasure of you to join my channel because I already know you like and I already know you subscribe, so thank you in ahead of time. And uh, peace out. Happy E3. Yeah. It's heavy, man.